How do? In this video, we're going to have a look at this beautiful little knife. This is a custom knife out of Poland from a maker called Bartek Herman, Herman Knives. Now, before we get into what I really love about this knife, and believe me, I love this knife, there's a couple of issues that I want to just go over straight away. Full disclosure, this is what I'm going to do with my knife reviews. I'm just going to tell the truth, okay? I had the same knife before this one, the same design, and it was full carbon fiber with Kirinite inlay and a Kirinai, purple Kirinai uh, pivot surround. It's a, it was an inlay, same as the inlay here. Floating backspacer, and a 3D machine titanium pocket clip that followed the contour of the handle. Really cool. But there were a couple of issues with it. In particular, I didn't like the purple. That was his choice that he sent to me, and I didn't like it. Plus, there was a couple of little, little tiny fit and finish errors that he'd made. So I asked him, I said, look, will you make me another one, but, you know, follow exactly what I'm asking for? He said, absolutely. I said, right, okay, cool. I was going to go with carbon fiber for the handles and orange g10 for the inlay but when i looked at the size of the inlay i realized that why not flip it over if you flip it and have orange for the scales and carbon fiber for the inlay when you're looking at it you're going to see more carbon fiber because it's such a large inlay but then you know it's still going to be an orange knife so it's the best of both worlds so i thought yeah cool let's go with orange g10 carbon fiber inlay carbon fiber pivots around Obviously, the titanium clip and the floating backspacer. I then asked for dueling of the liners, titanium liners, and was pretty specific about exactly what I wanted. He said, no problem. I went over it several times. He shipped the knife. I was very happy and very excited and got the knife, pulled it out of its packaging. And the first thing I noticed was that the pivot collar wasn't there the pivots around the inlay, the pivot inlay. I was like, what the fuck? What, where is the pivot inlay? Turn it over, no pocket clip. Clip holes, the holes were there, but no clip. I'm searching around for it. I contacted him. Shit, he'd forgot to put it in there. He'd forgot to attach it. This is a steel clip that I had lying around that I've attached to the knife because obviously I want to carry it. I want to put, clip it into my pocket. So I had to put this on. Besides the clip missing and the pivot collar not being there, he'd also gone ahead and recently got a CNC machine. So instead of what I was expecting, which was the orange G10 to be polished and smooth, and then beautiful carbon fiber that was polished, the reason why I love his carbon fiber is because the, the previous carbon fibers that I've had from him have been beautifully voidless, smooth shiny and polished beautiful carbon fiber instead what he's done with this one is he milled in these lines all the way through the scales it creates a really unusual finish to the carbon fiber as you can see it's got a real unusual shine to it but it's not shiny it's matte it's not polished So I got this unusual milling work that I wasn't sure about. I was missing my pivot collar, missing my pocket clip, and the backspacer was completely different. Same following of the contours of the handle, which is really cool. But the other one that I had was floating backspacer. And as it came around here, it, it curled around the back here and finished in a point, much like the front is, has got a point on it. This one is different, similar, but raised and not floating. So that was different as well. So there, there was a number of things that were missing from the knife. Ultimately, I'm sure he is just as embarrassed, you know, and, and upset as me about no pocket clip. 
don't ask me why he didn't do the pivots around because he does them. You know, if you look at his knives, all of his knives seem to have the pivots around. He's even now doing pivot inlays. So, yeah, I'm a little bit gutted about that. And every time I look at the knife, it's almost like I'm missing something from around this area here. I really wish it had the carbon fiber pivots around. But besides that, okay, fine. Couple of little issues. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Overall, okay, this is still a beautiful knife for the money. We are not talking about a thousand dollar custom knife here, guys. We're talking about an under five hundred dollar custom knife. That is an amazing price for something so well done, okay? So what, right? You know, so what? He's missed a few little features. All right, it's embarrassing. He didn't send the pocket clip. I'm sure if I was to send this back to him, he would put a titanium pocket clip on for me. But I'm in England. He's in Poland. It's a bit of a nightmare. So maybe in the future I will do it. But right now, um, you know, I've just got it and it is what it is, okay? But besides that, the knife itself overall is exceptional for the price point, for the workmanship, it really is wonderful. And it's still a one of a kind piece. So let's forget about the fact that it's not got a pocket clip. Let's forget about the fact that it's missing the pivot surround. And let's just look at the knife for what it is. This knife has beautiful fit and finish. It, it really does. The inlay work is exceptional. It was even more impressive on the previous knife where everything was smooth and you could really see the fit and finish. This is a little different because of the CNC milling, but it's still exceptional how the fit and finish is done. It's beautiful how he's put that together. The CNC work is very cool. It's a cool design. Different thicknesses of the lines. They kind of get thinner and thicker as they go and they kind of follow this unusual flow it kind of comes up and then flows down and then flows back up again same on both sides as you can see the transition between the liners and the scales the orange g10 is exceptionally well done fit and finish wise it's superb anodized blue liners with dueling on the inside Beautifully done. The flipper tab is excellent. Low profile, little cut out at the front there to create this kind of little circle to put your finger. The detent has a large ceramic detent ball and this thing flips awesome. Brilliant detent on this thing. Wow. Really snappy action. The blade stock is ridiculously thin. Look at that. Full flat ground, so it comes to a zero edge. This thing is sharp as fuck. Persian style, so there's hardly any weight at the top of the blade here. So this thing is not going to fall under its own weight. It will if you disengage the lock bar all the way. So you can do that and then close it the rest of the way. But believe me, it is smooth. He uses bearings, but he makes his own. Thin pieces of plastic with tiny little bearings press fit into them. What that means is, is that they very much look like the thickness of a normal washer, just a bronze phosphor washer or a nylon washer. What that means is, is that your tolerance between the different materials, between your liners and your blade, is much tighter. So it's almost like what you see in a washer, rather than some bearing knives where you see thicker transitions or should I say wider gaps between those transitions. The backspacer is anodized blue at the sides to match the blue liners and then hand rubbed on the top. And it follows the contour of the handle, these cool angles to the handle. <laughs> Very cool backspacer. Clips, not clips, sorry, uh, pivots have some icing on them. Love the handle shape in the closed position. The blade, how it fits in the handle. The handle shape overall, very cool. Very European, in my opinion. The blade has a Persian style. Like I say, it's just a simple full flat ground. So it's nothing exciting. 
but the blade has an exciting shape to it, in my opinion. But as far as a slicer, woo, this thing slices. It is a great user knife, it really is. The blade has a polish to it, but also a stone wash. Really nice finish. So it's got a shine to it, you can see there, and a stone wash as well. Very, very fine, even stone wash. Really nice. Very, very sharp, user friendly. Really ergonomic knife. Fits great in the hand. I have a large hand. This thing is a compact 3.5. Has a great style to it, a great look in the open position. You can see that dueling all the way through it. The lock bar is great. Lock up is just where it's supposed to be. Solid lock up. No blade play up, down, left or right. It is solid. Little bit of material removed there, that kind of milling there, just to ease with the lock bar release. And believe me, it's easy. There's no hot spots on this knife. Nothing hurts when you're disengaging it. No hot spots in the open position when you're gripping it. Everything feels great. Everything's contoured. No sharp edge edges anywhere. The flipper tab is nice and rounded as well. No need for jimping on this thing. Locks you in. That choil is excellent. Really locks you in lovely. Like I say, nice detent. Smooth action. Nice fit and finish all around. Just overall, a really nice custom knife. And he's only getting better. This guy, you know, I think has got a bright future. He's a great designer. If he just, you see all his blades are the same. They're all like this one here. This is another one I'm going to do a, a review on. And it's again, it's full flat ground. If he was to start grinding his blades and learning how to really grind, it would make his blades totally exceptional. But it, there's, there's nothing wrong with a full flat grind. They're very user friendly. They're just not very exciting, that's all. You know, as a knife addict, we love to see a, a real nice ground blade, of course. But... It's still a cool knife, still a cool blade, cool blade shape, cool knife overall, cool, cool, cool. As I say, that unique CNC milling, it did just for this knife for me. And, you know, like I say, I appreciate, you know, what he did and how he's made it. It just, every time I look at it, it just, it's like, oh, I wish it had that pivot collar. And, oh, you know, it's just... You know, that clip really lets the knife down. If, if it just had that titanium clip that he did on the previous knife, uh, it, you know, so it's just a little bit frustrated. You know, it's having a beautiful knife like this. I love orange. Orange isn't for everybody. Some people don't like orange. I love it. You know, I love orange. And, you know, it's, it's kind of that thing of loving the knife and just knowing that if it just had those little few extra details that you asked for, you'd just, you'd be completely in love with it. Whereas you love it, but it's, you know, there's a couple of flaws going on, you know, it's like, oh, damn it. You know, every time you see it, it's like, oh, god damn, fucking pocket clip, oh, pivot collars. You know, you're an OCD knife addict, so I mean, th th these things are going to annoy you. And I'm sure, look, I, like I say, I'm sure he's embarrassed that he forgot to put the pocket clip on. I don't know why he forgot to do the pivots around. I have no idea. And I'm sure if I sent it back to him, he would look after me. Believe me, I have had knives from him before, and he has always looked after me. I highly recommend Bartek Herman. This guy is amazing to deal with. He's a great guy. He gives you an affordable custom knife. Something really nice, really well designed. And he will look after you. You know, I've had knives before where I've sent knives back to him, and he's added stuff. I had a knife... That was a beautiful carbon fibre knife. Sent it back to him. He put on a orange backspacer for me. He um, he sorted out some fit and finish issues. Oh yeah, you know, su superb. I, I sent him another. I, the, the very first knife I had had um, it was it had it was a bolstered knife, 
and I asked for a red G10 uh, divider that he forgot to do. Sent it back to him and he put the divider in. Free of charge. Brilliant guy. Great guy to do business with. Uh, believe me, I absolutely highly recommend him. All because I, I've never heard him make any mistakes on any other knives. Uh, what I... I I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I am going to give him the benefit of the doubt, because when I ordered these knives, um, they were a little bit longer than, than usual to be built, because he disappeared for a while, because his wife had a baby. She was pregnant, and they were getting ready to, to have their first child. And so what happened was, these arrived shortly after the birth of his first child. So you can forgive the guy, you know. Brand new father, you know, probably exhausted, just getting back into doing his, his his work, getting back to the workshop. I'm bugging him every few weeks. Where's my knives? Where's my knives? Are you going to, you know, what's going on? Hello, you know, are you, are you still alive type of thing? And, you know, he got them ready and he sent them. And, you're okay, fine. You know, he forgot to do the pivot surround. And, okay, he forgot to attach the clip on this one. Shit happens. You're not going to hold the guy, um, you know, in... Uh, you, you know, in contempt for that, you know, you're not going to, you know, be horrible to him or, or, or bash him for that. The guy's a new dad. I know what it's like to be a father and a, a new dad. You know, it just is what it is. So, you know, I just enjoy the knife for what it is, even with a couple of its flaws that, you know, even they, even though they annoy me, it's, it's, you know, I refuse to let it overall diminish my love for this knife because it is, it's a really lovely knife. So, yeah, definitely highly recommend Bartek Herman. I'll put his contact details for Instagram in the link below. Go ahead and give him a contact. Get on his books. Get a knife from him. I'm telling you, what he's making now is going to be exceptional uh, to what he's done in the past. And I'm really excited to see what he comes up with in the future because he's definitely got a bright future within the knife community making custom knives for us crazy knife motherfucking addicts. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me with this one. And I will see you on the next video. I'll check you later. See you. Thank you.